Hey guys, it's Toppy from Top Crypto here today. And today I'm just going to share a bit of a update on one of the summoners I've been playing around and tinkering with a little bit since Chaos Legion's come out. So, Chanceus the Great is a legendary summoner that was released with the Untamed series that came out not too long ago. When that series came out, there were summoners such as Yod and Zaku, uh, the Scarred Llama and the Byzantine Kitty that came out alongside Chanceus the Great and those summoners seemed to perform quite well with the cards that were available at the time. And if you had seen one of my previous videos where I was talking about the, my ouster uh, Rowling the death summoner with the magic reflect that I had at a level 4 it used to be a very powerful card when the untamed was and dice were the latest series prior to Chaos Legion being released but since Chaos Legion's come out it's actually reduced the effectiveness of that summoner quite a bit and even in its price the summoner was originally you know at one stage it was worth $38 but now it's you can buy it for under ten dollars, and the price and the price seems to continue to fall, and that's because the new Chaos Legion cards and all the abilities and skills that have come out with that have made that card somewhat obsolete at the moment, and that got me thinking: Is there other summoners that have gotten better since Chaos Legion's come out? And I seen Chanceus the Great. I'm looking. I was looking at buying a level four uh, Lorna Shine. And if we go to the market right now and look at uh, Lorna Shine, a level four is about three hundred and something dollars at the moment. If we look here, see so she's twelve dollars a pop. And yeah, so a level four is three hundred and twenty-four dollars and seventy-five cents, and that got me sort of thinking. Like, with the it, it has a level a level four rare summoner has the same uh, abilities. You can use the same powered cards as a level two legendary, and that's where I sort of come across Chanceus. And I wondered to myself, is Chanceus a good card? As you can see here, it's $118 for one Chanceus at the moment, but a level two is $350, so it's 20 bucks difference. And a level two still has the same same card power. You can use leveled up five for commons. You got two for legendaries and three and four for epics and rares. So I decided to see what how this card could be utilized and if it is competitive in the current meta that Chaos Legion has brought to Splinterlands. Now when I think about summoners and battles in general at the moment the two so there's a few things I sort of need to consider magic will go through armor so if you don't have a lot of health or some sort of void armor or um, or the the void shield then magic will tear through a team so the way you can work around magic is you need to have like I said a lot of health points in your tanks up front or healers now Chanceus doesn't have the heal ability but he does have a heal with this triage which will heal the friendly backline monster that's taken the most damage he does have Resurrect, which raises, uh, if your monster dies, it'll bring it back to life. And he does have Armor Repair. So, with Sneak Attacks that attack your backline monsters, the only way to avoid that, you need to have either High Speed or Armor. And so, the, the, the Restore Armor ability gives, if you, if you have a lot of that on your team, then that will give you the ability to hopefully not lose health from your backline monsters. So I was sort of thinking like how could you pair this this summoner with high health, healing, 
uh, and and possibly magic void armor. And, and I know the life deck doesn't have a lot of magic resistant um, monsters, but there is some high health ones. So I sort of started to pair this with. Um, if we go and have a look at the life deck here, I started to pair this with, I've got a Uriel the Purifier at level two and he has 11 health with six shield and a healing ability. I have also in my uh, life deck, Venari Crystal Smith at level four. So he's got a tank heal ability. I have Adelaide Brightwing, which has uh, another amount of, um, Re armor repair plus another resurrect so if I can pair these two with Uriel and Venari I need a fair bit of mana in that to play it but that becomes sort of something I can use to um, keep buffing my armor so if if the team doesn't go all magic uh, you know, if it's like some, which is a lot of a lot of times when you play Swinderlands, you want to sort of split up. You don't want to go all magic. You don't want to go all archery. You sort of want to have a bit of everything to just sort of diversify your attack. This Uriel becomes quite good because it can just absorb an incredible amount of damage. And so, what I wanted to do was show you a couple of battles I've done with Uriel previously before I decided to record this video. So if you look down here, I've got Uriel here and I've got the win. This is uh, this is against people of similar power. Here at Uriel again, got the win. This is against Ulrich, the magic summoner. Um, down here, I've gotten, sorry, Chanceus uh, and Uriel and I've gotten the win again against a magic summoner and Ch Chanceus the Great again, Chanceus the Great. So I've been playing this a little bit and it's been working good for me so far. So I might just replay a few of these battles just to give you an idea of um, how, how this is working for me. So he's got the plus one magic and I was Obviously, I must have looked at the, that he was playing a lot of magic and I've put the Gargoyle Lion up the front. So he has the Void Armor and Shield. With that, I've got Scarvo Hyling, which has Armor Repair. And I've also got Armor Repair with Chanceus. So that's, that's two times your armor will be repaired each battle. And up the back, I've put another Shield because if there is a sneak attack on him, he will take the brunt of that, unless they have piercing, their attacks nullified, no hit points are taken, and then I have a chance of healing the backline monster, because he's gonna, he's gonna restore the armor on one of these guys, and then he will restore the armor at the beginning of every round. So let's just watch and see how that plays out. So the other thing that I've thrown in here is my level five supply runner gives swiftness, which gives everyone a speed buff, which also allows me to attack faster, hopefully before everyone else. Now Uriel's just restored this guy back to life and they've had they've essentially lost one of their attacks with that so i think the rule set was everyone it, it was like where your the highest health is spread across the high, highest health of the highest health card is spread across every team and see there guys i i absolutely demolished them and that was sort of starting to show me as a sign that this is a good combination. If we look at this battle again, again against Auric, a level four Auric, with some highly powered cards here. And we look at the rule set, it's flying rule set with common 
monsters. So let's have a look at how this battle plays out. So I've got the swiftness. I really like this card. That, that speed advantage is very important. And they're all going to attack him. I've got the armor restore and a heal as well. So let's see how this plays out. He dies, but he gets restored back to life. That attack was wasted. And there we go. Now this is going to really destroy him because of the magic reflect. And I like the fact that Chanceus will heal one of your backline monsters each turn, each round. And, and there, there we go again guys, it's, I, I'm really getting excited about this summoner. Now, I would say there's one caveat with that, is my cards are fairly high powered. I have previously played Chanceus with a level 1 and not had as much success, but um, with high, high powered up cards, leveled up cards is very good. So this is a good example of how effective chances can be because we have the blast rule set, which makes everyone essentially, every summoner essentially sort of becomes Yoden because Yoden has, not, not exactly Yoden, but Yoden has the blast ability plus the um, plus one archery. But, um, but let's see how it goes. This is, uh, Yoden's a very powerful summoner, so if it can compete with Yoden, then you're starting to say, well, maybe with the new Chaos Legion cards, Chanceus could actually be more competitive than some of the game-defining cards like Yoden and the Byzantine Kitty. So we've got Uriel at level two. He has a heal. I've got my Jin Renova who gives everyone plus one health. This is my Adelaide Brightwing, so she has the Armor Restore. Uh, she also has Resurrect. Uh, I have Armor Restore there. I have Armor at the back with my Prismologist. So there's Armor at the front, Armor at the back, and two Armor Repairers with one Healer and the Healing of Uriel the Purifier. This should be hard to put do away with. The other thing about Uriel and when this blast rule set is on is because it recharges, it has a nine hit when it when it every second round when it attacks, it takes nine damage. The blast damage of that is significant as well. Like if you watch here in this round, Uriel's gonna attack soon. We will see him do an attack for nine and then probably kill the next card behind him with the blast damage. So here we go. Bang, nine damage and six damage from the blast. That's insane. So. It becomes very powerful and, and mind you, you need to have a high mana point battle here for this to be good, but we are absolutely dismantling the teams that we're coming up against with Chanceus. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. I, I'm going to do more investigations into it and if I continue winning uh, another, you know, if I win, you know, 8 out of 10 games with Chanceus, 9 out of 10 games, then I'm going to look to invest a lot more money into getting more cards with Chanceus. 
so that that's that's uh, that's all I wanted to share with you guys today I hope this sort of helps you sort of uh, strategize and guide your um, your purchases in this game but chances the great could be an actual very um, good valued summoner to buy at the moment so this is Toby from top crypto if there's anything you liked in this video please hit the like button if you want to see more content like this hit the subscribe button I post content like this every couple of days I'm getting videos out it's generally Splinterlands related so I hope this is helping you guys I hope you guys have a good day and uh, I'm out